Hi everyone, uh, I just wanted to come on real quick and let you all know why I haven't been uh, posting and I won't be doing the collab with Lynette tomorrow for Friday's collab. Uh, I I lost my oldest daughter, Madison. Um, she died of a drug overdose in Santa Rosa, California uh, on the 14th and I just need some time to get through everything, you know, obviously. Um, I, a lot of you probably wondered how I could even be on here, you know, I, I'm getting a ton of emails of people asking if I'm okay, if everything's okay, and, and obviously I'm, you know, I'm, everything's not okay. Um, Maddie was a heroin addict, and she has been for several years, and I, it got worse. Uh, when my mom and dad died, she didn't take it very well, and I've been trying to get her back to Helena to help her. You know, with my Suboxone, because it's a rehab drug, it could have helped her, but she she denied having a problem, and I just talked to her the day before she died, and uh, she told me she was going to be going to San Francisco for the gay pride event because she was gay. Um, and then she was going to head to Portland to see her sister Jazz. And um, she was found in a van. Uh, Saturday morning I got that call, you know, that I've been dreading getting for the last two years. Uh, when you have a child that's an addict of any kind, really, you... you dread. You just know that you're going to get that call. You know? And I did. I got that call. I know a lot of you probably think, you know, how could I even think about come on and, and doing this, but um, all things eventual, this is what's going to help me save my sanity is, you know, getting back to doing what I love to do. And, uh, when you have anybody who's ever been through something like this, you know that, you know, when my dad died, it was more of a shock. Because when you have a loved one, whether it be, it doesn't matter who, when you have a loved one that is a severe uh, addict, you know, of something like that, of heroin or amphetamines or anything like that, you know that, you know, you, you just expect that one day you're going to hear the worst and, you know, my dad dying of that aneurysm was, was more of a shock. I mean, it came as more of a, of a, oh my God, how did this happen type of shock than hearing about my daughter. My daughter. I hope you guys stick with me and, and, uh, want any condolences, nothing. You know, I don't expect like my mail to be over flooded, my email to be over flooded with condolences or anything. I mean, you guys don't hardly know me. I understand that. I'm just, I, I'm just coming on telling you that um, I haven't just blown y'all off. I, I'll get around to doing all of that as soon as my head's back on straight a little bit, and I get all of the details. You know, I gotta get her, gotta get her back to Montana somehow. Uh, so thank you all for sticking with me. I, if you do, I hope you do. Um, you know, I, I appreciate all of you very much, and that's all. Thank you.